Still, you couldn't go down the passageway, smoke. And as you would go through the, into there, I've been to there a dozen times after that. As you go through the front door, on the left, that's the living room. Well, there was about 20 of them in the living room. Cause the next day, that, that week, they told me, people would tell me messages. And I know a couple of people that was in the room at the time. And the twins said, when they come over, we're going to have it. You, as soon as it goes off, lock the, the door so they don't get away, you know. So as soon as we walked in, I had, I had my cup, and I've got a fellow called Joe Blue Joe. I knew it was going to be, the other, it was going to be aggro. So I get a shooter. Um, Terry has one as well. I said, you cut for Reggie, and I'll get for Ronnie. It was, we had to do it. I'm not bullshitting you. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, everybody knew about him when it happened. And um, the twins were, was mugs. As soon as we walked in, must have been our attitude. That my, I had in my right hand in my pocket. When he put his hand out, Ronnie, I just put my left hand out. He knew in a second because he had a quick glance at Reggie. And he said, I'm glad you come over. If we're in trouble, come and make one with us. If you're in trouble, we'll make one with you. Uh, you know, we're glad to see you out. Because I hadn't seen him since I'd come out. Um, and it went off that way. They knew we was tooled up. Um, and they thought, Ronnie was, Reggie's followed Ronnie. But so, fucking, if we do something here, it'd be, you know, it's awful. <laughs> we would have done it. We would have killed him. You know.